Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. I'm Matt Toms. Today we are doing How to Save a Life by The Fray. It's a, it's a really nice, easy, simple song. If you want to learn the, the exact piano uh, melody or picking pattern on guitar, I've included that in a separate chart. But I've kept your original chart uh, nice and simple without the actual picking pattern. So we're just going to strum through this song in the most basic sense. It's got a couple of interesting chords which you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do all of those as we go through. Strumming wise, it's very, very simple. You can kind of go all quarter notes like that. One, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four, or one, two and three and four, and one, two and three and four, and one, two and and four, and one, two and and four. And if you stick to that sort of strumming pattern all the way through, it's going to sound really good. But, like I always say, as long as your hand is moving in time, it really doesn't matter what strumming pattern you do there, it's going to sound good. And it takes a little bit of the pressure off trying to do the exact pattern that's been described. If you can kind of mix it up a little bit and make the rhythm a little bit your own. So, capo on 3rd fret makes all our chords really easy. The key of the song is actually B flat, but with a capo on the 3rd fret, that B flat is played like a G chord. And if you are not sure about how to figure out where to put your capo, uh, click on the link below to my how to use a capo tutorial. It's gonna tell you in a few easy steps how to figure out exactly where to put your capo. So if you, uh, you know, if, if the song or the chart doesn't have any directions about where to put a capo, you can figure that out and I'll show you how in that tutorial. In the meantime, let's get stuck into the song, download your chart, and let's start with this. So we're starting with a G chord and it's a good idea for this song to do a G chord with both your third and fourth fingers on the B and E strings, third fret. So do that kind of G rather than your traditional G with just the one finger on the E string up there. Put both those fingers on and I'll show you why in a moment because as we go down to the next chord in the second, very second bar, we're changing it to a D slash F sharp. Now what that means is it's a D chord with an F sharp bass note on the bottom. So our bass note from our G chord just goes down one fret, our first finger takes that. Now to make this top shape into what is a D, we put our second finger on the G string second fret, we lift our pinky off the E string, so I guess technically it's a D sus2, because that is a D sus2 and that is a D. So we're not really using that, that note on the E string, because to play it like this is a really nice sounding chord and it sounds better than doing it this way which is also an option so doing it this way is simply keeping those top two fingers on and putting your F sharp bass note on like that perfectly acceptable way to do it and a bit easier on your fingers but it sounds better if you lift your pinky off the E string put your second finger on the second fret of the G string so you've got this so there's your D sus2 with an F sharp on the bottom. So we do this. G, D slash F sharp. Then we go down to an E minor. But when we go to this E minor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep those top two fingers on where they were with our G chord. So we're actually playing an E minor seven. And there's a couple of ways to do that, but that is one of them. You can play an E minor seven like that. You can play an E minor 7 like that. You can play an E minor 7 like that. There's a few different voicings for it. This is the one we're going to use in this song because it fits in with the other chords that we play really easily. Okay? So, again, that first pattern of four chords, which is going to be most of the song. G, D slash F sharp, E minor 7, back to D slash F sharp. Feel how that's easy on your fingers, right? And that's the whole verse. Alright, so we go through that, that pattern. After the intro, we go through that pattern a total of four times. And then it goes to 
the Where did I go wrong? So we move to a C. Where did I go wrong? Now you can go to the next chord, which is a D. You can do your traditional D, which sounds fine. You can also just take this C shape and slide it up two frets, which gives it a really nice kind of open sound. Don't play your bottom E string, because that, that, that note doesn't fit in here. But if you go C, because you're not playing that bottom E string with your C chord either. So if you're a finger strummer, I like to rest my thumb on that bottom E string to mute it. But if you're playing with your pick, you can you can mute it with, with the fretting thumb or you can mute it with the edge of your third finger. Either way, you don't want to hear that E string. So C, back down to the E minor. Doesn't really matter whether you do an E minor or an E minor 7 there. Then you go G and then halfway through that bar down to a D slash F sharp. Right, so it goes C, D, E minor, G, D slash F sharp. Repeat that line again. Do an open D if you want. Hard to see the life. And then we're back into the intro. Where you can go back into your picking pattern if you want to, if you're doing that, if you don't. It's just strumming through the chords. And that's pretty much the whole song, all the way through, right? We've got the chart, we've got the song mapped out accurately on the chart. So now that you've learned those chord progressions and how to get from one to the other, you can actually just follow that chart through. So it goes intro, four bar intro, then we start the verse, run through that line four times, then you go down to the chorus and you run through that line twice, then you're into the intro again, four bars of that. When you get to the end of that line, there's a DS, which means go back to senyo, which is the little symbol at the start of the first verse. So that sends you back to the beginning of that first verse on your chart. Go through that the same way all again. Then you come through the intro, go th through that DS the second time around, go through another four bars of the intro. Then we're back into another verse, four times through. A double chorus, which is four times through that line. Then down to the intro, repeated twice, or repeated once, played twice. Then we're into another double chorus again. Then the final line is the outro, which is the same as the intro. And it does that three times and then finishes on the G. Really simple song, really nice and easy. It's a great song to practice those D slash F sharps. Like I said, you can do that one as well, but Make up your own mind which one you prefer. They both sound good and they will both work. If you want to do that picking intro, here it is. It's on a separate download, but same link below, but on a separate chart. It's like this. You, you put your first finger on the third fret of the B and E strings, like you would if you were doing a G bar chord. So with our capo on the third fret, if we did a G bar chord, it would be three frets up from the capo. But those top three notes are where we start our picking pattern. So first finger on the third fret, second finger reaches over to the fourth fret of the G string, and you, you pick this. Then you put your third finger up onto the fifth fret. Pinky goes up to the seventh fret. Now we change our position here put our first finger down on the second fret, second finger on third fret B string, third finger on G string, fourth fret. I hope that's not too confusing, but it's like this. It's a And again, if you look at that as part of a bar chord, that's the last three notes of a B minor bar chord there. Once you get that far through that pattern, you put your pinky back up on the fifth fret, and then we're back to the start, so it's If you want to play that, there it is for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that song. Please let me know how you go, whether you've actually used that picking pattern as well. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you here again soon.